Good morning, everybody. For those of you that knows me, uh, welcome back to my channel. For those of you that do not know me, uh, my name is Virgilia Avad and I'm a cancer survivor. I survived uh, to a triple negative uh, uh, breast cancer. I was diagnosed 2021 and until now, so I have all of the treatment. So far, I was pronounced cancer free. I hope that I continue that way. And uh, so as now, I, I do have reconstruction surgeries, uh, which is going, is going very well. So what they're doing, they're doing that like fat grafting. But uh, I want to talk to you about uh, these uh, leader bands that I have here. Those, you know, these tools, these are like magnetic and they are special to keep down the lymphoderma, the black one and the red one. Now, this one, if you notice, it has uh, some, uh, some, something written there. They say no needles or BP in this arm. So what it does is alerts the medical, uh, medical personnel. It could be ambulance, it could be doctors, it could be nurses and even your family member, that they shouldn't be taking blood pressure on the side, on the arm, that you have the lymphatic node removed, or they shouldn't be uh, taking blood or anything that, that uh, causes like cat, needles, uh, blood pressure, it shouldn't be done in that arm. And uh, so this is very inexpensive. You know, that little band, so you could find them between five, 10 bucks. I, I bought a set, like different colors, you know, sometimes I change them. And uh, so, or you could just buy one if you if you wish. And I noticed like, even when I go for surgery, I have already eight surgeries. I use one and the nurses, they look at that and they don't touch this arm. Cause you could be sleeping and they might have to do something. Maybe the, the needle came out and you know they know that they shouldn't be going in that arm because it's like the one that causes that lymphoderma and in fact i already have lymphoderma myself i have to every day i have to do some kind of uh, exercises i have um, a machine that massages me for massatic uh, lymphatic massages i did take a lot of lymphatic massages already but they are very expensive anyway but uh if you could do something to avoid that they touch that with needles or a high blood pressure monitor is better, is recommended for you. I do appreciate one of the nurses from uh, uh, Diagnostic Lab that she said to me, you should have a sign like that. The first time I went in, I was like, uh, she said, which arm? And I showed this and I said, oh, this, this. she told me that, no, I, I do have, uh, the lymphatic nose removed and she said you should have that sign and i do appreciate that from her also uh out of many surgeries that i have uh once i um, i get there so they see it and this is very important for them because besides that they will mark the arm for no needles or blood pressure or anything whatsoever in that in that arm but uh it, it been saving me from a headaches because believe it or not so once you get more more needles in there or blood pressure anything that you do even like lifting anything heavy more than three to five pounds it's definitely gonna cause you a problem so if you have a sign that is gonna help you know so and i wanted to share that with you you know so one other thing that you could do to keep lymphoderma down too so you could do uh like uh eat low sodium you know so i mean so you should be checking your sodium as well if you see that it's too low so uh, for god's sake you know just continue your doctor's advice you know so i'm not a medical doctor this is not a medical things that i'm doing here i'm just sharing my own experience okay so but uh, so in my case i've been keeping the uh, sodium down i drink a lot of water uh, there was a time that I would eat a lot of sodium uh, when I was taking the uh, chemotherapy because the sodium tend to go too much down. I was, eat, I was drinking maybe like six to seven bottles of water a day. And uh, so the sodium, you know, get down. And if that gets too down, it might cause you a medical problem too. So, I mean, please uh, talk to your doctor regarding that. But for the lymphoderma, so I read about it. I saw so many videos like this. And I also I talked to the doctor and they're definitely working on me 
because the lymphoderma have not gone farther than the, my arms and it usually get uh, uh, like swelling in the daytime. Uh, but when I use the, uh, when I use the, the sleeves, you know, so that keep the swelling down for the day. I, I wear it usually between five and 10 hours. Today is not one of the days this day because I'm traveling and I say, you know what, let me keep this out. You know, so I'm gonna try to just keep my arm elevated. You know, so if you keep your arm elevated, the lymphoderma is gonna, you know, be a little bit down. So uh, my doctors say, and some nurses say, uh, if you, when you, even when you sleep, if you try to keep it above your heart, so the liquid is not going to get accumulated so much in the arm, which is, uh, is a good thing, you know, so, because uh, so far it's so good. Um, anyways, I wanted to share that with you this morning. I hope that this uh, information is valued to you or someone that you know already. So please share with other people, you know that. I appreciate that kindly if you uh, do thumbs up to my channel and if you subscribe. And there is any, any particular topic, any question that you might have. So I've been in this uh, journey since 2021 until now with all of these surgeries. Uh, uh, I got chemotherapy, radiation, immunotherapy, all kind of stuff like that. If you want any tips, even the nutrition and things like that, because I, I realized that I never went down in my immune system. But you could just put in your comments, what would you like to hear, you know, so me to talk about. And I'd be kindly, you know, so prepare some kind of speech for you. Um, I hope that you have a wonderful day. And until next time, love you. Bye-bye.